Hello everybody, this is a saggy snatch and this is domination. Um, I think I go like 57 and 6 here. I know usually people rush right here, so of course I'm going to go up and I'm going to throw a couple grenades and I don't know why, but my, my, uh, my Dazzler or whatever lagged here. It does that when you start recording for some reason. Oh well, yeah, there's somebody camping in that corner, so of course I, I put a claymore there. Um, just lay it straight up the steps. It was a terrible attempt because they had destroyed it, of course. And that guy lagged, so I just <laughs> drop shot him. Um, I was going to be pretty upset if he killed me, I'm not going to lie. Um, I cannot stand when I lag and get killed. It is the most annoying thing about this game. This game does happen to um, lag a lot, though. So, yeah, here I come. I'm pretty much by myself. I like to flank the other team. I actually like playing by myself, like, separate from the team because the other team basically knows where your team is at and the physical location around the certain area or whatever. Not precisely, but they know around about where it's at, and I don't like the other team knowing where I'm at. So, of course, I always roll Ninja Pro, and I basically try to flank and try to get on my own and basically... uh basically perform on my own like this. As you can see, I get two knives right here in the back, um, which is always helpful. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm just I'm just away from my team, and I, I love picking up weapons, and the MP5K especially because it has a really fast fire rate, and therefore you can just unload on people, and even though you may not get the first shot, you're most likely going to win the war if you have aim. I think this is a little bit of crap right here because I do unload a bunch of bullets into those kids, but I understand I had a submachine gun, and I guess, you know, not, not long range. And uh, here I go again, of course, trying to flank from the same side. It's pretty successful. Some people say the Galil is overpowered and too many people use it and blah, blah, blah. I just think it's a bunch of excuses, a bunch of crap, because you can be good with any gun on the game, and people will complain about it. No matter what you do in this game, people are going to complain about it. Like me, for, for instance, I love to complain about last stand I actually get killed last chance or final chance whatever you want to call it same thing um, I get killed by it and it it's kind of retarded I mean I just want to be like hey kid let me come to your house and shoot you in the chest five times and see if you can lay on the ground and shoot me and not die you know but it's part of the game I mean nothing you're gonna do about it people are gonna use it and you might as well be happy with it but like I said here I'm actually kind of with the team right now, so that's why I'm throwing stuns. I know the other team is around here. I'm trying to get my kill streaks up. I think I have UAV at three. Of course, my cell phone would ring while I'm doing this. UAV at three. I have at five a napalm strike, and then at eight. This is the first time I had used the Blackbird ever, and I really enjoyed it. I don't know if you've done it before, but I would really recommend you to use the Blackbird because. It tells you the direction the enemies are looking, um, where they're at exactly. And it's just really helpful. It helped me get a lot of kills. Um, without the Blackbird, I don't think I would have went 57 and 6. I probably would have died a lot more. And look at me being a retard. I didn't even think I called the napalm there. But obviously I did, and I ran out and didn't even get a kill, I don't think, and died by my own napalm basically committing suicide I should have just ran and jumped off the cliff uh, but right here I don't know what I'm doing I mean I guess I'm texting or something cuz I tend to do that a lot just stop the game and start texting I go um I think what helps me a lot and other people might do this I aim around corners I just had to do that I know that was a douchebag move but People take my kill, so, you know, it's like a free-for-all for me. I don't really care about my teammates. As selfish as that may sound, I don't play the objectives. I play domination for kills. I know a lot of people can relate to me, but a lot of people want to play tactical and play like the game's supposed to be, and I'm going to get criticized for this, I know, but oh well. And that's a reason right there why you always pay attention to your mini-map. I think your mini-map is one of the most important things in your game. Your HUD and all that, whatever you want to call it. Um, if you shoot a shot without a suppressor, then you're going to show up on the mini map. And if you have a UAV, people are going to see the direction you're going. A lot of people can't pay attention to the mini map and play at the same time. I find it to be pretty easy. I mean, I've been playing Call of Duty since Call of Duty 4. Um, 
I use a concussion grenade. My equipment is a claymore always. I don't think any other equipment's worthy. Um, the drop shot is very effective, obviously, as you can just see there. A lot of people complain about that as well. Um, I just set my stick layout to tactical, and you just, instead of B being laid down, B is knife, and my right analog stick, if I click that, it's laid down. Um, it just works out a lot better for me because you can aim and drop at the same time. But here I go again with another Galil that I picked up with a reflex on it. I usually do extended mags or either or either a uh, silencer on the Galil. I love the fact that when you put the silencer on it, this uh, the suppressor. What am I talking about? I love the fact that when you put the suppressor on it, that the recoil is really low. And I was actually kind of glad to die right there because I was running out of ammo and I had already got all my kill streaks. I mean, so why not die, get more ammo, and be able to do my kill streaks over again? Here I go, um, going up the side. I don't even know what you call these parts of the map. I'm not an expert on that. But I guess I kind of spawn trapped the other team right here. See, they're all trying to come around and go down this path, but of course I just sit here and hold it off and I don't let them. And I'm shooting them across across a little mountain or whatever and I keep going back and forth and laying down and stuff like that so they don't know what's coming I always like to keep the other team on their toes see they're they think I'm on the other side now and I just keep going back and forth and they just they get confused because my other the team is not even there it's just me and they're trying to find a way around to get me because they know I'm there but here this is kind of stupid well, not that. I kill him. Then I turn around to look at my equipment because it got blew up. And then, of course, I get killed in the back. But thankfully, I got my Blackbird before that. Yeah, I wasn't very... I'm not very good with napalm strikes. I don't know why. I guess they confuse me. <laughs> as retarded as that may sound. I mean, I know they, they look simple and all this. But it's actually kind of hard for me. I guess they're not so smart. Have trouble with stuff like that. But, um... Yeah, I basically check all my corners with concussion grenades, stun grenades, whatever you want to call them. Um, I guess I just head glitched that guy right there. I mean, I also love doing that. I mean, and of course my teammate would lay down in the middle of the path like a retard and not do anything. You know, like I'm saying, I, I still have them kind of trapped right here, as you can see. I'm still shooting them through this door. Um, they really don't know what to do. They don't know where I'm going to be next. I keep running back and forth, making them think I'm going around, but then I come back. I always love to trick people. It's always a good thing to try to, to try to not let the other, t not be predictable, basically. If you're predictable, then you're not going to be as good than if you just always switch your game up. Never play the same. And, of course, I'm trying to call my Blackbird in here, but I guess my last one's still up, or somebody else has one, and it won't let me, won't let me do it. But yeah, I'm starting to run out of ammo again. Of course, I pick up the same guys Galil. And this is kind of bad. I kind of just run in there and spray because the guy's just going to camp in the corner if I don't. But yeah, I always reload like after every shot. Even if the, I don't kill the guy and I only shoot like three shots. I always reload for some reason. It's a habit. I used to lay down when I did it all the time. But I don't do that so much. I just have Slater Hand Pro on. Um... My first perk, I tried out Hardline. I didn't really like that. Um, I really like either Scavenger or or Flag Jacket because I, I hate dying from like random grenades and stuff. It made me so mad. And here I go. I place a Claymore here because I'm running out of ammo, of course. And I go over here and I die. So once again, I'm kind of happy about that death, actually. Um, yeah, so I call in another another napalm strike and this is actually my most successful when I get a double kill off the bat I throw a Simtex to the window try to get around I call in my UAV and I guess two more retards run into it because I got four kills off of that and that's basically the game um, try to make my commentary a little bit better this time I know last time was really my first or second one wasn't that good but there's my score guys comment subscribe like the video um, and I'll have more up soon